So in this example, we have a horizontal rod in equilibrium. We need to find P and X. Now, it doesn't actually matter which way round we do this, because if we resolve vertically, we can work out P. And then we could take moments about point A and we can work out X. So it doesn't really matter which order you do that in. I'm going to resolve first. So taking upwards as positive as I usually do, we've got 50 plus 20, the two forces are going upwards. Take away the P, take away 40 is equal to zero. So we have 70, take away 40, which is 30. So P has to be 30. Now I'm going to take moments about point A. So we are x metres away from the 50 newton force, and that's going around in an anti-clockwise motion, so that's positive. So we've got x times 50. Then um, the whole distance, the whole length of the rod is 3 metres, so we are 2 metres away from C, and that's going around in an anti-clockwise motion as well. So that's 2 times 20, so plus 2 times 20. And then we're 3 metres away from the 40 newton force, which is going in a clockwise motion round. So that's take away 3 times 40. And that's got to be equal to 0. OK. So we have 2 times 20, take away 3 times 40. So move that on to the other side. So we've got 80 divided by 50, so 8 fifths, or 1.6 meters.